So let's solve some proportions. Hannah is training for a beverage consumption competition. If Hannah can chug three beverages in one second, how many could she chug in four seconds? Okay. Three beverages, one second. How many beverages? Four seconds. I know some of you guys immediately know the answer is 12, and that's great. But let's just look through the process here. We've learned that to solve these, right, we can cross multiply. So we get x equals 12. You can draw a picture, right? So three beverages in one second. So this is one second. How about four seconds? Twelve. So we feel pretty calibrated on twelve. You should not be chugging that many beverages ever in that amount of time. It takes one minute to bake 11 cookies, unless they're like thimbles. It takes one minute to bake 11 cookies. How many cookies could you bake in two minutes? So you can logic this through. You can say, all right, 11 times two is 22. And you know what? Sometimes in life, you just gotta, you just gotta keep it simple. Let's just go with 22. We don't always need an equation. Part, part, of, part of doing math in life is not always using an equation, right? So a sprinter can run seven meters in one second. How far could they run in two seconds? Okay, I won't be lazy this time. So seven meters, one second. How far? Two seconds. Cross multiply, 14 equals x. So, 14 meters. Jaden is training for a beverage consumption competition. If Jaden can chug 14 beverages in two seconds, how many could he chug in three seconds? So this one is a good one for an equation, right? Because it's kind of like a two, three, it's a weird fraction. So 14 beverages in two seconds. How many in three seconds? How many is x in three seconds? Let's cross multiply here. A little trick. Let's not get too excited. We don't need to multiply the 14 and the three. This trick is worth, was worth gold. Don't multiply it out. Don't strain yourself, especially if the number get complicated. Divide by two first. So we get x equals seven times three, or 21. You could also just multiply this and get 42, and divide by two and get 21, but I think in the long run, this saves you time. 21. It takes three weeks to create nine wheels of cheese. How many wheels could you make in eight weeks? Again, this is a great one for an equation because three and eight, they're not really nice, right? They're, they don't go well together, right? That's exactly when you know you need an equation. So three weeks, nine wheels. You got to keep track of what's on top, right? So this is weeks. This is wheel. How many wheels could you make in eight weeks, right? So that means the X is on top because we don't know the number of weeks. Oh no, we know the number of weeks. We know the number of weeks is eight. And how many wheels, that's what we don't know. So three weeks, nine wheels. How many wheels in eight weeks? They've changed up the order, right? So it's a little bit confusing, right? They wrote, they, they wrote weeks, wheels, and then wheels, weeks to kind of confuse you. So when we do this out, we'll get three times X 
equals 9 times 8. So this is 3, this is 9. That goes in, we get 3. So we get x equals 24. So you can make 24 wheels in eight weeks. Christopher walked a total of five kilometers by making one trip to school. How many trips will Christopher have to make in all to walk a total of 30 kilometers? Okay, I mean, another way you can do this is say five times six is 30, so one times six is six. But let's, let's write the equation out. So five kilometers, one trip, 30 kilometers, x trips. 5x equals 30. x equals 6. When we divide both sides by 5, we get x equals 6. All right. Christopher walked 9 kilometers. Three trips. How many trips? 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers. How many trips? 9x equals 15 times 3. This is 3 times 3, so we can divide by 3 and 3. And get x equals 5. Because 9 is 3 times 3, so I broke up the 9 and divided each of the two things on the right by 3. So x equals 5. Grace can eat 15 Brussels sprouts in one minute. How many minutes would it take to eat 30 Brussels sprouts? Again, let's just save time when we can. Two minutes. 15 times 2 is 30. One minute times 2 is two minutes. A cow can clear 11 square feet of grass in one hour. How many hours will it take to clear 22 square feet of grass? Another one, simple one. One for 11, 22 is two times 11, so it should take twice as long, two hours. If one ox can tow nine pounds of equipment, how many oxen would be required to pull 18 pounds? Okay, again, we could just see it's two, right? But we'll do. One ox divided by nine pounds equals how many oxen divided by 18? 18 equals 9x. Divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals 2. All right, friends. Hopefully you feel more proportioned. I'll see you next time.